Cause he stay dropping them bangers Use that polo, don't let nobody see you, man Too much mud, sippin' on drunk, the reaper, man Scroll through pictures of myself, gotta face my demons, man If no one else, come on what is up YouTube? It is Showtime and I am back with yet again another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the highly requested versatile paint beast build. My secret build, my new and official build that I basically be using on a day to day basis. A lot of you guys have been wanting it. The build video actually did a lot of numbers. So I appreciate everyone that did tune into that video. To all of you guys requesting it, here it finally is. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. But before we get started, before we even get into the build, I just want to ask that all of you guys, please do like, comment, and subscribe in the video. It is greatly appreciated. Also, hit the notification bell so anytime I post a video on YouTube, you guys will get the notification that I've posted. I have a lot more builds coming, a lot more gameplay. I have some how-to tutorials, some important things that are going to make, make you guys better players. So once again, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, we can kind of get straight into today's video on my new and official secret versatile paint beast build my new main center build on nba 2k22 so for the position you guys want to go with the power forward position still the best position to be going for all of you guys big men build out there power forwards just do it better power forwards better i'm telling you guys now with the hand in this i went right for mine and then with their jersey number it obviously does not matter now with the skill breakdown we're going with the best pie chart in the game it is the all red pie chart the best pie chart in the game hands down telling you guys so we're gonna go with the all red and then with the physical profile now to be honest with my build i ended up going all speed now honestly if i could change it i probably would have went vertical i mean yeah agility vertical like i don't know i just chose the speed i want it to be different honestly i'm gonna leave this up to you guys i love giving you guys options and choices if you guys want to go agility vertical that is cool you guys can also go all speed um i kind of kind of wish i went agility vertical but i'm also happy with my all speed so personally we're just going to go with the build i use because that's what you guys asked for you guys asked for the build that i use and the build i use is speed I, actually for this build i think speed is better because i'm heavier i want the speed so personally i'd recommend you guys go speed and then with the um ticks it's quite simple what we'll do here um just follow as i do on screen uh, give yourself overdue oh, perimeter last and then we do the pass accuracy like this and then bring the ball handle up until you guys actually get six playmaking badges and then with the finishing you guys should be able to get 16 so follow as i'm doing on screen and then we'll bring the close shot down bring the driving lap down just a little bit and then come back and use the rest on perimeter defense and there you guys have it 16 finishing one shooting six playmaking and 30 uh defensive badges the perfect badge upgrades by far the best build best center build in my opinion really it is and then with the body shape i went burly for mine obviously uh the burly is gonna fit really nicely with this build especially because it's a heavier build this is the versatile paint beast you guys gotta make sure you guys go burly if you guys want a video on how to change your body type for those of you guys who've messed it up literally just go in the youtube search tab and search up how to change body type hey showtime or just put how to change your body type and my video should be the first one there so go ahead and do that so we went burly and then with the height this is where we kind of make it different so the video i posted back in september i did recommend you guys go with the 2.02 i'm now going to recommend uh, recommend you guys go 2.03 now before you guys go 2.03 i'm going to show you guys a glitch that is actually going to grant you guys a much higher defensive stats it's a glitch so if you guys go all the way to the max height and then you come back down to the 2.03 you guys actually get a much higher rebound stat you lose some stats in certain categories stats that really don't matter and you get a higher rebound that's always what i'm aiming for a higher rebound and then with the weight i actually went 103 now you guys gotta go 103 so you guys get that plus one on your driving dunk as you guys can see you could go 104 i think in the last video i said you guys go 104 or something um but 103 truly is better 103 is better in my opinion you guys get the plus one on your driving dunk to ensure you guys get those elite driving dunks so i had to make sure i went 103 on the dot and then with the wingspan you guys want to max that out and then there you guys have it this is basically the build so as you guys can see you guys get a 92 93 rebound now do not forget you guys will get a plus four on all the attributes you guys are seeing on the left hand side of the screen you guys will get a plus four if when you guys become 99 overall and then you guys can also get another plus four if you decide to buy boosts so yes this build gets elite contact dunks it gets the 99 standing dunk it gets the 99 rebound if you do the boost and the 99 overall 
it gets around the 99 block it, you you get it all you get it all it's an all-in-one package build it's heavy too a lot of you guys prefer your center builds to be heavy because you guys feel like you'll get dogged out this is the build where it literally has a little bit of everything so you guys have weight you guys have athleticism you guys have more than enough speed look at your speed guys it says 82 speed remember when you reach 99 that's plus four on all your physicals so your vertical your speed all that and then you guys will get another plus four if you guys get the gym rat badge how to get the gym rat badge is you guys either grind it out in my career by winning the nba championship or you guys hit level 40 in any season and then you guys get it once you guys talk to the person in the gatorade facility so yeah so this build has it all it has the um 90 speed it's heavy it gets pretty much a 99 rebound it's unstoppable so this is the best paint beast build in the game and then with the takeover i went with the glass cleaning takeover the best takeover in my opinion and there you guys have it we have my official versatile paint beast build this is the Hey Showtime build. The Hey Showtime build. No one take credit, bro. This is the Hey Showtime build. I'm telling you guys. Now we'll kind of move on with the actual uh, batch setup that I use for my build. Now I personally, I get around um, like 33 because I'm legend and I hit level 40 in every season. So I have like a plus three in my defensive. Uh, but we're just going to show you guys uh, just your batch setup if you have just just 30 uh so i do rebound chaser hall of fame rim protector hall of fame honestly i go box on silver you don't need it that high like it's really overrated badge this build is kind of heavy it's like 230 it's on 230 pounds so you can get away with using your box on silver or gold so you can just use it on gold or silver uh we'll say silver if yeah, we'll say uh, we'll say gold. We'll say gold. Brick wall gold. You don't need it all the fame. You're 230, so you guys have a weight on you. The screens on this build are hard. Like they're really, really good. So um yeah, feel free to use this on gold. Save yourself some badge points. Chase on artists, I personally go Hall of Fame. Paint defense needs to be patched. I did re uh, release a video. The video before this was how to play paint defense. So watch that video. Chase on artists are definitely gonna help you your defense. Um we'll go interceptor on silver or gold, like interceptor hasn't been the same ever since this new patch where they've kind of altered they kind of altered your steals ai doesn't help you get steals anymore which is kind of op you guys really have to time it now so you guys can get away with this on silver or gold some people use interceptor on none so like silver is cool uh intimidator i'd probably go hall of fame i'll go pickpocket silver hustler silver honestly i stopped using pickpocket and i go worm this is my new badge setup that i've been using uh, so uh, yeah, this is basically the bad setup. I'd go with your defensive if you do decide to make this build and then with the playmaking I go on pluckable bronze quick for step gold and bullet pass or silver and then with the uh, let's see here the finishing um, I go post riser gold limitless takeoff gold fast switch gold I go rise up gold I go live city finisher on bronze and then I go fearless finisher gold and then with the shooting I only have one So I just put it on Slippery off ball and that is all for today's video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the build This has been a highly requested to build you guys have basically been hounding and harassing me for this build but i told you guys i would come through uh the video like the goal the video goal like for the video for this video to drop was 100 or 200 and you guys got it to like 600 it's ridiculous so i appreciate you guys i'm going to set another goal i have another center build i have another secret build if you guys want it get this video to 300 likes and you guys will get it in real soon real soon i'm not gonna leak it yet because i want some time to enjoy it before everyone else has it You'll only know about the secret build if you got to the end of this video. So if you got to the end of the video, let me know you guys want that secret build. Once again, I appreciate you guys. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.